Alright guys, I got a uh, iPhone 6S board here I'm working on. This is a data recovery board um, phone. Um, water damaged extensively. Front side don't look too bad. Um, it's been through the ultra ultrasonic cleaner about three times now already. We've got some bad caps uh, in a couple places. Let's see here, uh, here, a couple of them here. And this is actually, this actually looks good compared to the other side. I uh, already pulled these two caps here. They were pretty corroded, and this gives me a place to tie into VCC main. Uh, this area here next to PMIC looks pretty good. Don't see anything really corroded in here. Get down next to the NAD here, we've got a few caps here. Look, don't look too good, but when we get to the bottom here, I pulled uh, the audio IC, it was corroded under it. Pulled uh, TriStar, we actually had a couple of uh, uh, pads where the sorter ball was completely eroded away, especially this one. Uh, still some bad looking caps here. Uh, come on down and I, I removed the, uh, the amp. I see it looked pretty bad. Pushed that cap out of the way. Oh well. Uh, pulled the gate off here to isolate uh, VCC main and uh, uh, battery main and or VCC battery, uh, battery main, whatever the hell it is. Uh, Tigris here, Tigris, whatever you pronounce it, it was fucking pretty corroded up and you still see shit back in here and this is after it's been through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner like I said about three times pulled it out scrubbing putting it back in and uh, this looks the board looks pretty bad yeah this is not the cleanest cut but I'm just trying to get that off this phone so if we can get the main cleared uh, we'll have to go back and we'll at least have to put uh, try to start on uh, put this uh, gate back on and tigers back on uh, at least those ICs will have to go back on so I thought what I'd show you uh, uh, I've showed a couple times how I find these shorts uh, what I always do is I've got my leads here from my DC power supply I always keep the wire soldered on to my, my hot uh, side of my DC power supply and this wire will actually tie directly in to VCC main. Uh, my ground, then I, what I'll do is I, that wire will be tied in and then I'll just touch ground as I need to until I find uh, a cap, whatever, um, has the phone shorted. Uh, right now, and I already, already, I know where the, there's a cap somewhere in here. I can't remember exactly which one. It's bad. And uh, I normally run my DC power supply at uh, four volts on VCC main uh, because that's a, a 3.7 volt line and you, it's not unnormal, uncommon to see up to 4.2 volts with a, a fully charged battery so I, I run four volts whenever I'm checking VCC main and uh, typically I run two amps I'll set my DC power supply up to run max of two amps um, for this particular cap that's bad I had to actually go up to three three amps to find it two amps just wasn't enough to make it get hot enough to to show so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in directly to uh, VCC main by these caps up here next to Wi-Fi both those on the bottom are VCC main so it really doesn't matter which one a solder to but your one yeah, that turn looks good to me all right so that's good enough so now we've got our DC power supply it's going to shoot four volts three amps directly into the board and you can hear my DC power supply whenever whenever I ground it you can hear it heating up and this wire is actually getting hot because that's a small wire that I've got three amps running through. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna spray this area because I know I've already seen the short. So, but you typically you'd spray, spray the whole board and look for uh, whatever melts. So just spraying a little bit, of, and I'm using actually 
compressed air flipped upside down. Uh, I'm not actually using a free spray. And so we'll ground it and you can see this cap starting to get hot already. Hopefully you can see that in the video. So what we're going to do now, I don't know if that's the only short on the line to be honest with you. So we'll pull that cap off and just see what happens. Okay, so that one's off. All right, let's see. We can make sure my lead's not getting over there touching that. All right, so now I'm looking at my DC power supply and there's no amperage draw whatsoever. So the VCC main uh, short is a lead now. Uh, now this phone's in pretty bad shape so I may find another line that actually does have another short on it before I'm able to get the power up uh, but at this at this point what I'm going to do is go back and put a TriStar on it uh, this audio IC uh, the phone will boot without that this uh, uh, amp IC the phone will boot without that uh, I'm going to put this gate back on it so that I can use a uh, uh, a USB charger to get the phone to come on and then Tigers here will have to be replaced. Um, those chips have to be put back on before the phone will boot. So that's uh, kind of how I go about looking for some shorts um, on liquid damaged or not even liquid damaged. If the phone's got a short on it, that's the way I look for it. So hope, it, hope that helped guys. Thanks. Bye.